Jay Prince spoke on the Larry Hoover thing. Let me be honest with you, man. Um, I was on that clubhouse when he spoke up on it, when WAC 100 spoke on it. Let me tell you something, and I'm gonna get into what I mean by that. That's what made me different, different between a lot of folks in New Orleans coming up, because I traveled and I lived in places like Chicago, my family, my daddy's side of the family and everything. Chicago, Mississippi, Arkansas, places like that. Mainly Chicago. So, I'm gonna dig in deep into this. Jay Prince spoke on, Jay Prince, pretty much gave details what happened a lady named Chapman went in there for an interview with Larry Hoover and pretense that he's going to take some information back to the family but she turned around and using it for a documentary now I don't know if it was a setup let me let y'all hear it it's no secret that I along with the Hoover family lawyers and friends are fighting hard for Larry Hoover's freedom that the first step at law says he deserves Meanwhile, this dude Wack and Karen Chapman has taken a position to work against the Hoover family by trying to monetize off his name and withhold footage that could contribute to his freedom. So if it's one thing this Wack dude is telling the truth about is that I don't fuck with him. When I was in LA talking to this lying ass nigga, never once did he take the position he was partners in the theft of the Hoover families like he's doing on that rehearsed conversation with them clowns. Now, what he is not telling the truth about is why. So listen up. There's a woman by the name of Karen Chapman that was entrusted by the Hoover family to interview Larry Hoover with the understanding of bringing the interview back to the family. She decided to run off with the interview and a fake fraud contract claiming Larry Hoover signed all his rights away for nothing. Larry Hoover is far from being a dummy, so for Wack and Karen to be taking a position on disrespecting the Hoover family by attempting to sell Larry Hoover likeness without the family permission is a mistake for whomever considering buying it. I've been around a long time and I know when someone is trying to set me up with police conversations. So I won't lip wrestle with you cake ass niggas on Clubhouse. But I tell you what, I don't know if you were violated on the block or what, but all that snake jealousy and hate shit you have in your heart niggas, bring that shit to Dr. Prince and I'm gonna cure you of that disease. Let me say this to the homies in LA and around the world. All money is not good money. And a nigga that will kiss a rat in the mouth for any amount of money is capable of anything like sending you on a suicide mission to laugh at you. Read the wisdom between the lines and don't follow this clown off of but I was in the clubhouse when WAC 100 spoke on it. Now, I don't say nothing on clubhouse because I can't get into them conversations, man. A bunch of dudes talking crazy to each other. Somebody hopping off the mic. Fuck your nigga and all that stupid ass shit. I can't get into that room. But when WAC 100 first said it, he said he was saying how he got footage on Larry Hoover. Stuff that might free him, um, how people railroad stuff like that. But when he was saying it and how he said it, he was saying Jay Prince didn't mess with him. I can't remember verbatim what Wack 100 was saying. Jay Prince don't mess with him, and he they was trying to clear something with the video, but it's going to come out anyway. And I'm saying to myself, okay, this is different. This is different. Now let me tell you something. I know how it goes in L.A. I be I've been back as far as the LA. My home dudes I fuck with out of LA is Crips. They not people that got put on out of town. They straight from LA. I don't need to say the name of their hood because they got nothing to do with this. I'm just telling you how I know how LA roll and the politics. 
WAC 100 taking the politics of LA to a whole nother level with Larry Hoover. Basically, WAC 100 said he got this thing that's coming out on Larry Hoover and Jay Prince and all of them can't do nothing about it. It's coming out. It's going to make money, which it is. And um, when I heard it, I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, the way he explaining it, it's like, nah, this shit, I don't like this shit. Nah, I have my own feelings on that and people that know me know why. I'm like, what the fuck? Nah, I raised my hand and started speaking, but they didn't let me speak. Somehow they keep having one or two or three dudes from New Orleans on there that be getting that whack for messing with a rat. I don't know who they is. They don't sound like they from New Orleans, but the people in the room be saying they from New Orleans. And I don't know because, you know, out of town, if for some reason you could be from Baton Rouge, you could be from Shreveport, they just go say New Orleans. Even though it's totally different cultures and not and no nowhere near around each other. But I couldn't get in. But I wanted to say something about it. I wanted to tell him, look, that ain't going to be good, man. And what you're doing ain't good. It's funny that I was thinking that because Jay Prince put out a statement like basically saying whack 100 yeah he right i don't fuck with him and basically saying how they skimmed that knowledge from him and about to monetize off this man and his family now let me tell you something that's going to be a totally different monster it doesn't matter that larry hoover removed this way from the street side of gd you know it's kind of like a pastor you know, like that respected pastor in your neighborhood that's not with the foolishness, just trying to get everybody to change. Everyone respect him. He not with the gang shit. He want everything to change. But if you disrespect that pastor, although they don't listen to him, they still doing gangster shit. But if you disrespect that pastor, or I'm just using a pastor. They could be an OG. It could be anybody that's well respected. Although we... He don't condone what we doing, we still respect him. And if you disrespect him, we going to get at you. That's the situation I see with Larry Hoover. Larry Hoover, he's he's on a positive note. He's not he he's not what it was when it started or what they portrayed him to be cuz you only know what the newspapers say. Them young GDs not listening to what he have to say. They not. They doing what they do worldwide. And when I say worldwide, it's GDs worldwide. Larry Hoover, if you don't, if you didn't know, he one of the founders of the Gangster Disciple. Later on, turned to growth to development. BD, everything. You know, it's three. It, it's a long story. But he's one of the founders. You know, not. I'm just say GD. I don't know why I said BD. GD. And uh, although he's far removed, they still respect that worldwide. I need y'all to listen. They respect that worldwide. I don't expect New Orleans people to understand, but they respect Larry Hoover worldwide. Case in point, the Rick Ross thing. When Rick Ross mentioned his name, they was getting at him from Atlanta. All over, man, Mississippi all over so rick ross it didn't come from chicago like that it although it did but it came from other areas too that's how much they still respect that name although he's far removed from the gangster part he trying to do a positive thing he on a positive level that's why he should be out you understand they still respect that man so you have jay prince come out which well respected too and let me tell you something. I don't care how much money WAC 100 have. He's not on the level of a J Prince. That's a fact. He's not on the level of a J Prince. So, although J Prince come out and he said, look, I'm going to let it be known. This dude, I don't like him. I don't fuck with him. He on some bullshit. And basically, he said something that I've tell, been telling people since I was young. All money ain't good money. I done passed up on a lot of money because wasn't good money all money ain't good money whack 100 um like kind of make you wonder what your boy the Campbell dude 
kind of make you wonder what the camera dude's saying. Is this dude just a straight con artist? Is he just a snake? Is he really extorting people out of L.A.? Which that happens a lot in L.A. Let me tell you something. That happens a lot. Okay, that's do what you do. That, that's cool. But now you're taking it to the level of fucking with Larry Hoover and his family. Mm -mm. I didn't like it when I first heard him say it. I tried to raise my hand. If y'all be in Clubhouse, you see CEO P2R, backs underscore P2R films, let me in. You understand? Um, I be in, but when I'm in, I don't say nothing. So I guess they kick me to whatever. And then when I finally won't say something, it's, you know. But, because I had some shit to say about that. And I would have said it then. Like, hold up, dude. That ain't going to be good. That's not going to turn out good. Because the way he was explaining it on the clubhouse before J. Prince said anything. The way he explained it, I'm like, damn. That sounds like some snake shit. But then he was trying to hide that fact. But I'm like, that sounds like some snake shit. Plus, I know you have nothing to do with Hoover. How you get a hold to a documentary on unreleased <clears throat> interview with Hoover? How? How did you get that? Jay Prince didn't have it. That That's family members. People like Gator, Gator Bradley and, you know, whoever, you know, people like Junior. Nobody. They didn't have it. Mooney, they didn't have it. How you have it? When, and when I'm like, I'm like, damn, this this is, but I couldn't say nothing. But then, about 15 hours ago, J. Prince released this statement. And I said, oh boy. Because let me tell you something. I'm pretty sure Hoover don't want nothing to come behind that. I guess he figured they snakes. But the streets, from Memphis to Chicago, you don't know where. Even, the, even parts of the Bay. Even... You don't know how them little ones go take that. Or not even little ones. Other people. It's what you want to call OGs. Superiors. You, you don't know how they're going to take that. It got nothing to do with Hoover. Hoover ain't got a Hoover. He's far removed from it. But although they're not listening to his laws. And what he wants them to do is nothing but positive stuff. Just like I said. That OG you're respecting the hood. They want you to be on some positive stuff. You don't listen to him. You ignore him when he come talking. But you still respect him. And when you disrespect him. When somebody come disrespect him. He might say look. I don't want nothing to happen. I don't want anything to happen. Leave that alone. Alright alright OG. Alright I understand. Soon he walk off. Man fuck that. That's how I see it coming with that. That's how I see that coming. Um, all money ain't good money, man. And, you know, kind of make you wonder, is the dude Campbell telling the truth about the kind of an extorting, which I didn't care about that. If, if, if you let somebody extort you, if you that much of a, I ain't, uh, this is a different situation. I ain't talking about who because it's different. But if you let somebody get a tape video and all that and extort you, if you that much of a, how can I say, pussy. And then hey man, get extorted. But this ain't different. This man locked up, trying to get his freedom. Um, I think he locked up on just. It's it, it's funny that when he was trying to change, when he changed, they wanted people to be on some positive. Um, how can I say it? Black excellence stuff. All this time come about. Anyone else has been out by now. You understand? Not only he's not, he's in Supermax. If he's still in Supermax, I don't know. But, yeah, that's what happened. And I don't, if the doc do come out by being so popularized now, it still would make a lot of money because you got youngsters that ain't GDs, that's it, that, that is GDs, that's BDs, that's VLs, that don't give a damn. They just want to hear what they got to say. But then you have people, a lot of them, that do. And when I say all over, it's all over. I know how LA politics is. You understand? You could pretty much separate this stuff from certain stuff. 
But when it comes to them politics, it's more, how can I say, it's more organized. It's more of, if somebody say, hey, we're not going to let that ride, that could spread from state to state to state. Nobody's going to get on here and make any threats on YouTube. If they do, they ain't part of that. Um, no one's going to send any threats. If they do, they not part of that certain group. They just not, they just not going to like it. And I don't see anything turning good behind it. Real talk. That's just how I look at it.